Nissan are huge supporters of F1 in schools and working with NAC, they gave newcomers across the North East the chance to compete for the first time. We're here at the Nissan factory and this is an F1 competition. We have been given the task of creating an F1 car. We staged this competition because we we'll only started working on the Formula One program in September last year. The first regional final we hosted was in January. It wasn't enough time for a lot of the schools to actually get involved. So we thought let's put a competition on just for the teams that we've worked with. The roller competition that was close as possible to an official Formula One competition. There's a lot of different stages. Obviously the race is the thing that everyone focuses in on. It's 30% of the marks, so there's a lot of other things. We'll be assessed on the pit display, the engineering, so we have to talk about why we made the car in a certain way, and the portfolio. We're doing the engineering judging, so we're looking at all the team's CAD files or CAM files and seeing how they developed the car and then went through to manufacturing to kind of the final product like we have here. We have scrutineering, and that's actually one of the hardest things for the kids to actually pick up on. Because the rules are quite complicated, as they are in F1. The kids here today will get valuable feedback on their cars, perhaps how they can make them quicker. So when they go to regionals or the national finals, they'll drop less marks. We're just looking at the other cars, seeing how they go in down the track, see what we can improve on our car. We've been doing after school work when we can, and hopefully the car design will be good enough to win. The key thing I think for me for all of this is how well the team work together. It's like this here, the more work you put in, the more you're going to get out of it. If you don't, then you're not going to get that far. A successful team really, I think, is all about organisation and teamwork. You have to be strong as a team, you have to keep each other high when, when there are those lows in the competition. We came here to work as a team and try and win and to compete and have fun. I think things like this show that, you know, competition is something to be enjoyed and you don't have to win, you know, and be proud of what they've done, no matter what. One of the reasons we like F1 in schools is it brings in the wide relevance of STEM. There's science with aerodynamics, there's technology with all the, all the desk training and the using engineering tools. So it's really about bringing all the disciplines of engineering together and working with those in a context that isn't so challenging, it's not reachable. The science and technology industry is so huge and it's always growing. It's great to get local people involved. They get a eyeful of what they could get themselves into in the future. Engineering was a career path I never even thought of before. It was something I wouldn't consider. All of a sudden, taking part in a STEM competition has meant that it has become feasible and it's become something I'll be able to do in the future. We've had five people from World Finalist teams that we brought here. How impressive that those young people at 17, 18 year old can talk in front of a crowd of 150 people without any hesitation. They've got those life skills which Formula One Skills has given them. I think the thing that's pleased me most today is the amount of people that turned up. There was 29 teams, which was actually more teams that were had for the official regional finals. It was such an enthusiastic day. You see the young learners coming through, and they're inspirational, some of the kids that we've seen. We've just won Best Engineered F1 Car and the overall winner, which we're quite surprised about. It's been a really good experience because we've learned don't get like too excited about something in case it goes wrong and then it doesn't turn out the way you thought it was going to turn out. We've all worked as a team, we've really bonded together, we've all learned about each other's strengths and weaknesses. Next January we've got the regional tournaments which if we win that we'll go for the national and worldwide if you win all that. It's quite difficult to see at regional level the scale of the competition and where F1 in schools could take you. It has the potential to change your life when you get to national and world level. And if you don't win something, go away, come back next year, do better. You really have to be determined and motivated to do it.